Good morning, St. George's. How are we all doing this lovely day? <laughs> Before I begin, I would like to thank you all, especially the staff, for inviting me here today to deliver a note of motivation. Now, you all may think I'm qualified to do so, considering my past experiences and accomplishments. But I'll not stand before you today and pretend to know better than you. Nor are you obligated to listen to me. You're all not that much younger, and I'm sure you've developed your own sense of how to conduct your studies and balance them. I'm simply here to reassure and assure, ensure that you do not feel disheartened along the journey, and to encourage you to continue working hard to achieve your goals and give a little advice. Speaking of goals, I strongly believe that they are the main source of motivation when it comes to completion of schoolwork. Without goals, school can be called so dull and pointless. I have a question for y'all. Who wants to leave this island? <laughs> Who wants to make it big in this life? Who wants to look back at their high school journey with pride, with pride and move on from this stage? Cling to that, because I understand Sometimes you can feel trapped. Sometimes I still feel trapped. And it only pushes me further to strive for more. It's the motivation to be more. Goals can be big and grand and seem like they matter in the grand scheme of things. But goals can be small too. It can be as simple as feeling the validation of receiving an A. Or maybe you wish to make your parents smile. Maybe you want to make your friends just a little jealous. Nothing wrong with a little healthy academic competition. I would actually encourage it, as it makes striving for success more fun with a little entertainment. It can be so easy to fall into the lull of your schoolwork, a feeling which I'm sure we have all felt. There is a comeback to it. Find ways to make learning fun and embrace it. It's not impossible. Take it as an opportunity, not an obligation. Because trust me, the minute you start viewing your school journey as a chore, you will falter. When you start looking at it with a different lens of all the opportunities education can bring you, you will genuinely enjoy learning and completing homework. Education will take you far in life. This is the importance of it. Education will not only land you prosperity, but it will give you stability. It can give you an understanding as to why God put you on this earth. Better things are coming your way, but only when you put in some effort. Because isn't that why we do it? A hope for a better future? I have seen people torment over the loss of their education because of the lives they have now. They regretted immensely the fate to which their destinies landed and felt that if they had just tried a little harder, they could be somewhere different, somewhere better. I would hate to see that happening to any students at St. George's, as I know this school provides so many opportunities. If you are proud of the achievements you will receive today, good. You're already well on your path. And if you're not, even better. Because disappointment means you know you can do better. It means you will aim higher. I understand the gutting feeling of receiving a bad grade, or just the general feeling of everything going wrong in the moment. It makes you want to give up on it all. I'll tell you a little trick I do when I've had a bad day. I like to believe in balance. Today had to just be a little bit difficult in order for tomorrow to be great. The bad days have to be there so that the good days and the good grades feel that much more special. Remember the goals you set and dream. Never stop until that dream becomes a reality. And I can see what you're thinking. The girl that never spoke and hardly looked like she had a social life was Valor Victorian. Goodness, what does that mean for my years to come? Don't worry, the key to not breaking is to have an escape. It's all well and done when you find, when you have discovered your motivation, but you need to fuel it. Take a step away, and it will only make you want to return when you have taken a break. It's not impossible to juggle a social life with extracurriculars, and trust me when I say your teachers do care. I promise. Go to them when things get difficult. They understand and are more than happy to help. They, more than anything, want to see you achieve your goals. The key element I want you all to take away here is to work hard for yourself. Find your reason and clutch to it as if it were a balloon about to fly away. Motivation is a strange thing. It can leave as quickly as it comes. 
And sometimes it may feel so difficult that you just want to give up. But the feeling you get when you achieve your goals are unmatched. It's the most addicting thing, but it's a good addiction. All of you should be proud of the accomplishments you will make today, as it is one step further. It may not seem like much by changing your habits and mindsets, but once you do, you will have already laid your foundation for the future you want. A destiny that you chose. Because you can be anything, but you have to put in the work. Form 4 and Form 5, you'll be leaving soon, so I say enjoy the final years and work hard. To the rest of the forms, I know the shenanigans you'll get up to. There's no advice for that. I'm just making an observation. I will leave you with one extra thing simmering in your mind. A quote from Diane McLaurin. Nature has given us all the pieces required to achieve exceptional wellness and health, but has left it to us to put these pieces together. Thank you, and God bless St. George's. Thank you.